right, guys, we're going to get right after it. Welcome to this week's episode of Adventure Possible. We're out at a buddy's house. His name's Bill Sullivan, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Dan and Bill are going on a four wheeler ride, and uh, I'm sitting here. I'm going to cook us some lunch. We're doing adventure meals. We're going to shoot some shotguns, fly the drone, and uh, just enjoy the day. They are coming back. I'm gonna go down the hill and check out the shot. Introduce you to Bill, and you've uh, seen Dan before. They're gonna go on a little four wheel jaunt out on Bill's property, and then I'm gonna sit here and make us some lunch with these adventure meals. We got some lasagna and meat sauce, so we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna shoot shotguns, ride four wheelers, and cook food, and have some good company. So let's watch those guys. Dan's a nut when he gets on those things, but he has fun. All right, I am cooking adventure meals, lasagna and meat sauce. Waiting for that water to boil, shouldn't take too long. Then uh, we'll be back with you and we'll shoot some shotguns too. And then I'll take you on a little jaunt around Bill's property as trails that he's made. Not a lot of land, but man, it's beautiful and it is fun. So um, kick back, enjoy, I hope you enjoy it. We're just having a fun day. All right, we are boiling. That is going to be hot enough. I'm going to take this off of here. Wish me luck. I'm going to pour half of it into this one. Man, I nailed it. That was perfect. Pour the other half into there. I'm going to stir those babies up. And I'll show you what they look like here in a minute. All right, I got 12 more ounces of water going for mine. Got Bill's, Dan's in there stirred up, I'm waiting for mine. My trusty cooler. Got to have my Mountain Dew and my pink lemonade. You guys know that. And water. Be a good day to get the drone up here. We'll do that after a while. Let me show you the gun I brought to shoot today again, because I'm not sure my first video was even working. So there she is in all her glory, the G-Force Arms 12 gauge, kind of on an AR platform, looks like it, but man, that thing shoots great. I had it in one of my other videos and I didn't have any three inch shells, so it kind of jammed on me. But I brought three inch shells today. We're not gonna have any trouble hitting some of those targets that Bill set up for us. So. It's gonna be fun. I know I keep saying that, but it's gonna be fun. And it says in 416, even though our physical bodies are wasting away, <laughs> we, we are being renewed in our inner bodies daily. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Told me we got here and he said, You big kids, be careful. <laughs> big kids. Yeah, we can be big kids, that's right. Got water right over here if you need to hit them there. Dinner wow. is served. Thank you. <laughs> Five star restaurant. Yeah. That's going to be hot. Okay. It's going to be hot. And I got water, pink lemonade, Mountain Dew, Gatorade. That's pretty good. Tastes more like spaghetti than lasagna. Does it? Got a little bit of a lasagna flavor because I can taste the cheese in the sauce. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. I might have to go get me a tub of this. I had the beef and noodles on one of my most recent videos. I made it out by Fellows Lake when I was fishing. It was pretty good. I liked it a lot, actually. We have, I bought a uh, tub of survival food. We haven't tried it yet, I should. 
as soon as eat, as soon as they eat, you eat it, they'll drop the bomb. You'll need it. <laughs> well, there's no way that there's not a worldwide famine coming. Now, the United States is going to be in better shape than a lot of places in the world, but there's going to be huge shortages of various kinds of food. Yeah, it's like store shelves are empty. Mm -hmm. It's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble. I don't know about these guys, but I like it a lot. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's warm on a I wouldn't be cool oh, day. Put boiling water in yeah. It wouldn't well, be unwise to stock up on a bunch of these things. Well, that's why we, we've been filling our shelves and freezers but then we eat it down and pull it back up. And we realized that if we couldn't fill it back up, the shelves and freezer just wouldn't last that long. Best if used by October of 2052. So we bought a tub. I forget how many meals are in there, but it's a bunch. And I, I was just about to buy another tub. I uh, thought about it this morning. And now I'm gonna check Walmart to see. So what kind did you buy? I forget the brand. It's off Amazon. I'd have to look it up. I got water, pink lemonade, Mountain Dew, Gatorade. Well, these aren't bad at all. They're not, not bad. Tasty. Yeah, this is good. better. They're just as good as Chef Boy RD. You're not better. Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten for 30 years. <laughs> well, I can remember that taste. And... I love spaghettios with meatballs. Love yeah, them. I love them. Love those when I was a kid. Still eat them to this day, once a week, most likely. I'll tell you something that's really good with SpaghettiOs. You won't believe it. But what happened was, my buddies and I, you know, I was 17, and, just, and my buddies and I decided at the last minute to go camping. And so I just grabbed what I could grab out of the kitchen cabinet and uh, for my own meal. And, and all I had was a can of pork and beans and a can of SpaghettiOs. And I mixed those together, and that was really good. Really? Yeah, you wouldn't think so. Oh, when you're camping. <laughs> Yeah, but that's true too. Yeah, camping. Yeah. <laughs> Everything tastes better. I told myself I was going to get myself a 20 gauge heat gun. Like my shoulder couldn't take the blood pressure anymore, but I never did. Every time I got my motor cell fire around, I was going to Hi, kitty. Check out Bill's shotgun range here. That's pretty cool. This, this is, I brought a clay pitcher for us. So. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at that cat. Wild jungle cat. <laughs> he, he's going to be running for... Yeah. He's going to be running for cover when that first 12-er yeah. sounds off. I see you eyeballing that pumpkin. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> I think he said he's put water in them jugs. Yeah, that makes more fun. He's got some nice looking shotguns. Yeah. So this is a Remington. And that's a Remington, yeah, those are very nice. A 410, 410 and a 20. I don't think I've ever seen a sports gun. Let's see. Which one are you shooting at? I'm gonna go for the jug. Okay. I only got one, I know that. That's a noisy little rascal. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it has a different sound to it though. Maybe that's It better. does. Got them all. Didn't blow them over. They're all leaking. What size shots in those shells? Probably six shots. Yeah, I don't remember. 
seven, seven and a half. So. I'm gonna try that, just that first red one. I forgot I hadn't sided that in. Let's see where it hits. Hit pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you need to sign it in. <laughs> <laughs> Want to try the pumpkin? Probably better. I'm going to let you have the pumpkin. There's the safety. Push her down, she's ready to go. Yep. Just stand here and hold on to her. Get a, little, get a look. Ooh. Pumpkin. No, you do the pumpkin. No, let Dan have the pumpkin. One of right, you guys take pumpkin. it. I love that smell. <laughs> ah, yeah. I was all ready to go. That is awesome. Got a little bit. <laughs> you want to try 20? Yeah. It's loaded. Safety's on. Oh, I like the feel of this one. Yeah. yeah. I like it. yeah. Was it just three shots? Yeah. I'm going to go set the stuff back up. Yeah, I might have to get me a 20 gauge or a 4 I love 20s and 4 They're just awesome. Well, the, th the thing about it is, that one's killing my shoulder. I love it, but if I keep shooting it, my shoulder's going to yep. give me trouble tomorrow. I got pumpkin paint on your hand. <clears throat> I'm sure it'll come out. You got what? Thirty-five. I put five in there. I guess I did. That thing is sweet. That's why my dad liked that gun. Man. It's only carry. It seems like a ball gauge when he's hunting down. It didn't fall hold in the pumpkin though. It just peppered him too good. Is this one ready? No, he just loaded. Well, there's one in there. Oh, oh, sorry, maybe I did load it. I didn't eject the last one, I don't think. Yeah. So do you always reload this one by putting the first one in the barrel? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, those shells are for shooting. So. Shoot them up.
That's a sweet little gun. Is this the 410? Yeah. Dead eye. It has that sound because of that recoil. It in the has barrel. a sound, a kind of a clunk sound. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, me too. Go ahead. Okay. Don't get that yes, twice. The pig. Yeah. Yeah. Get what you're aiming for. And the, oh, I want it to be automatic. Okay. Yeah. You could easily harvest a turkey with that. Yeah. Easily. These semi-automatics get you spoiled. You forget to pump, you get on a pump. <laughs> I like to kind of go at a speed round, like if something's running from you. So. Well. How many you got in? Three. Well, do the three targets, the middle, right, and far right. Speed round. The two that haven't been hit yet. Yeah. One I, yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, okay, yeah, this is pretty big. That's pretty fun. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. I said, I'm fly like that. Dog, and you know, and he said, so when the, he said, I'm, he said, you just stand right here. I'm going to run that rabbit right back at you. And I told my son, when you pull that trigger, don't hold it down when you pump it. But he did. And so he went, bam, bam, <laughs> and blew the rabbit's head off. <laughs> Let's see. One more. One more. Wow. Shot the bottom out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go survey what we've done here. Well, Grant, good running. The whole thing fell apart. Squirrel is in bad shape. Snake's dead. Mouse is dead because the head shot, and T Rex is <laughs> mortally wounded. Up Look at that punk. You want some of your DBs back? <laughs> Look at this mercy. Mr. Pig's stuffing's coming out of him. Oh wait, let me get my ears on. Go ahead, Jug. Make my day. <laughs> Hold on a second, Bill. Okay. <laughs> What's it? Oh, did I only put four in? Yeah. Sorry about that. Dan is going to have Bill throw the blue one up. Pull! Hang on. All right, when you're ready. Pull it. Got it. Easily. Yeah. I like that thing. <laughs> Probably just the jugs and the pigs coming off. Okay. One, two, three, four. Perfect. I'm gonna have you throw it up. I'm gonna try to hit it twice. Okay. All right, where do you want it? 
across, straight out? Just straight out. Straight out? Yeah. Okay. Pull. Oh. Missed it both Oh well. Inside. <laughs> Still running. Stop. See? Told you. Sim automatic. Spoils. That L four ten's got good range. So does a twenty though. Blue jug on the ground. Bill's getting wild and he decided he wanted to cut down a tree, so he went and got one of those manly tools. I'm gonna watch him fail this tree, see what happens. Hang on! Not good for the guy with the bum leg. Alright, go for it. Yeah, this tree's leaning that way. I probably wouldn't need to cut a wedge out, but just out of habit. It's leaning what way? It's leaning that way. Okay. And even though there's a wedge out, it has that big wind on that side, it may still fall that direction. Yeah, it I'm looks like it'll fall right between these trees. But go for it. I was going to buy a Tesla one day and I couldn't afford it, so I bought an electric chainsaw. I box. got. I got a cobalt electric. I love it. Yeah, I love it. There she goes. There she Timber. Goes. Perfect. Exactly how I wanted her. <laughs> you look like you knew what you were doing. We gonna ride anymore? He just blocked our four wheel trail. I haven't started a gas saw for three years. <coughs> there she goes. That's pretty good. Like All right.
close but I'm gonna have him uh, run me through his property real quick show you his trails that he made around his property that are really nice that we did the first time and him and Dan did earlier but let's go check this out because he's put a lot of time and effort and did it for his grandkids and his personal well-being too so let's go for a little four-wheeler ride
ended up on the drone. Let's do it by four wheeler now. Right, guys we are back home and i have just been uh, reviewing the video footage it's pretty good it's pretty good and uh what you saw there is what i put together as a video but uh not everything made it in there but it was a pretty fun day uh as a matter of fact one of the funnest days that uh, i can remember um and i've had a bunch but today Spending time with Bill, spending time with Dan, um, two guys that I highly respect, two guys that I highly admire more than they know. I can guarantee you that much, but uh, it was fun, man. And I said earlier, I say fun a lot, but it is good to have some fun. So you can see here that I am nowhere near organized and I haven't got everything put away yet. But the cool thing is, is that, uh, oh man, I'll be right back. I had my uh, Bible all set up and it just fell all of a sudden. So I had to fix it. But anyway, um, I have no complaints for today, and that's unusual. Um, because me, you, everybody in the world always seems to not have anything to complain about. So, as I was thinking about complaining, um, I've been fighting the sciatic nerve issue in my leg and lower back for about a month and a half, and I've been doing stretches, and at night, I mean, it's horrible. I wake up uh, in agony, sometimes with tears in my eyes because the pain is so bad. But I've been doing stretches, I've been taking uh, Advil, I've been uh, using a TENS machine, I've been using that, you know, BioFreeze, and it's getting better. 
um, but it still hurts. So I'm getting ready to take a couple Advils because of the today's activities, but it was so fun spending time with Dan and Bill and uh, those guys have awesome spouses. I have an awesome spouse and that means a lot. I can't complain about anything to be honest with you, but I want to read to you Philippians chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Let's look at it together. Philippians chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Hopefully you can see that. Do everything without complaining or arguing. Then you will be innocent and without any wrong. You'll be God's children without fault. But you are living with crooked and mean people all around you, among whom you shine like stars in the dark world. Whoa, that is amazing. I tell you what, take a look at that again. But here's the deal. See if I can shine the camera on there just perfectly for you. If we, as a nation, could put our heads together to try to figure out how to make the current situation better, how awesome would that be? You know, um, my mom always encouraged me to do better, to do the best I can. Um, I bought in on that. The key is to focus on the positives and to correct the negatives. Don't focus on the negatives. That is ridiculous. Um, Winston Churchill once said, For myself, I am an optimist. It does not seem to be much use being anything else. Why would you want to be negative and cause a bunch of problems in the world? Be an optimist. I am an eternal optimist. And uh, having friends like Bill and Dan who are also optimistic about the future and who are believers, that's key. If you don't have God in your life, you need to have God in your life. So take a few minutes. Ask God to speak to you. Open that Bible. Go to Philippians chapter 2, 14 to 15, and read it. And see how God wants to talk to you today. So tell you what, I appreciate you tuning in. It was a super fun day. <laughs> There's that word fun again. But I can't help it, man. It was awesome. So uh, in closing, I just want to say this. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Romans 12, 12. We live our lives like that. We'll be all right. There is no doubt. All right. I'll see you next time.